Good morning. I'm Pastor Steve Hom of Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Rockford, Michigan, and this is your Coscast for Thursday, March 18th. Last evening in our Lenten Vespers service, we read responsibly Psalm 115, a psalm that begins with the verse, Not to us, not to us, O Lord, be glory given, but to your name be praise for your love and faithfulness. When I hear the first verse of that psalm, I can't help but think of a hymn that starts with the same words, not unto us. I guess the same thing happens uh, with our organist as uh, Kathy played a uh, version of not unto us as part of our pre-service music last night. Maybe you caught that. It's a beautiful hymn. It's written by a Wells pastor, a poet, musician, Kurt Eggert. He wrote this hymn in 1975. It was the 125th anniversary of our church body. And the hymn is intended to give God the glory and the praise for all the good things, all the blessings he showered on our church body. But certainly it applies to us as individuals as well. That all the blessings we have are a result of, of God's goodness, his grace, his faithful love, not any, none of, the, none of the glory goes to us, but all to him. And so we'll hear this hymn this morning, uh, Not Unto Us, O Lord. Not unto us, not unto us be glory, Lord. Not unto us, but to your name be praise. Not unto us, but to your name all honor be given, for matchless mercy, forgiveness, and grace. Amazing grace, that chose us ere the worlds were made. Amazing grace, that sent your Son to save. Amazing grace, that robed us in your righteousness, and taught our lips to sing glory and praise. O faithful love, that shepherded through faithless years, forgiving love that led us to your truth, unyielding love that would not let us turn from you, but sent us forth to speak pardon and peace. Not unto us, but to your name be glory, Lord. For grace so rich, so wide, so high, so free, Abide with us till traveling days are over and done, and pilgrim feet lead us home, Lord, to you. God be with you today.